Hi, uh, today's session we're going to be uh, doing a spin test and showing you how to do it. And the spin test is done after a fitting to see how well the client is doing with the hearing aids uh, in actually sp using speech. Spin test is actually called speech uh, perception in noise test, but it can be done without noise. Another reason we do a spin test is to uh, have the client realize how the hearing aid is helping them or not helping them in some cases. Some cases you'll find that the hearing aid is not actually benefiting them and this can be the decision on whether the client takes a hearing aid or not. So I have with me um, a client who is a bit fitted with hearing aids and I'm going to just go through uh, the procedure how I normally do. Okay, so here we go. Hi Evan, uh, we're going to do a, a speech test today and what do we need to do? First we do it unaided, without the hearing aids, then we do it with the hearing aids, but not looking at me, so that means without visual cues, and then we uh, do it again um, <clears throat> with you looking at me and with the hearing aids in your ears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say sentences and I want you to tell me the last word. So, for instance, if I said, Mary had a little lamb, you would say, lamb. All right. Can you please take remove your hearing aids, mm -hmm. and we'll start. Sure. Okay. So, either look down. Right. Or, or, um, or I can cover, you can cover your mouth like this. Okay. It's either way. Okay. I I'll look down. Okay. The watchdog gave a warning growl. Growl. Good. She made the bed with clean sheets. Sheets. The old man discussed the dye. Um, I'm not sure what dawn. Sorry, you can guess. Dawn. 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 Good. Paul heard about the strips. A strip. The old train was powered by steam. Steam. He caught the fish in his net. Net. Miss Brown should discuss the sand. Sand? Close the window to stop the draft. Draft? My TV has a 12 inch screen. Screen? They might have considered the hive. Hust? David has discussed the debt. Debt? Don't know what that one is. The sandal has a broken strip. Strip. Okay, now what we'll do is, you did not too badly, um, Evan has a high frequency hearing loss, um, and so uh, therefore he wouldn't be hearing a lot of the beginnings and ends of words as well. So now we'll have you put in the hearing aids and we'll do the same thing. Okay. Okay. So in this part of the test, you will again look down, okay. and so we'll just be able to use the hearing aids as a way of understanding the words. Right. Okay. okay. Sure. Crocodiles live in muddy swamps. Swamps? He can't consider the crib. Crib? Good. The farmer harvested his crop. Crop? All the flowers were in bloom. Bloom? I am thinking about the knife. Noise, so nice. Not no, yeah, no, that's good. Knife, you got it. David doesn't discuss the hug. Hug. She wore a feather in her cap. Cap. We have been discussing the grapes. Grapes. Miss Black knew about the doll. Doll. The admiral commands the fleet. Fleet. She couldn't discuss the pine. Pine. Okay. All right. Now. Um, not bad, not bad. Oh, we'll discuss the results afterwards, but now we're going to do the same thing, only this time you can look at my lips. Okay. <laughs> okay. Miss Black thought about the lap. Lap. The beer drinkers raised their mugs. Mugs. He was hit by a poison dart. Dart. The bread was made from whole wheat. Wheat. Mr. Black knew about the pad. Pad. You heard Jane call about the van. Van. I made the phone call from a booth. Booth. Tom wants to know about the cake. Cake. 
She spoke about the bomb. Bomb? The cut on his knee formed a scab. Scab? We heard you all call about the lock. Lock? The old man discussed the yell. Yell? Very good. Excellent. All right. So, as you can see, it was very good. Um, I mean, how did you feel about it? In the, unaided and aided? Did you? Oh, well, I mean, without the hearing aids, uh, it's quite muffled. Um, I can't, as I said, I can't um, distinguish between the uh, bomb and bomb or bomb or bombed or whatever, things like that. You didn't do too badly. There were just a few, um, like the old man discussed the dive. You said oh. dom, dom, dom or something. Yes, it was. And, and, and you left off for strips. You just left right. off the S, the, Latin, right. the final S, which yeah. makes sense. And for sand, you said sand. Right. You had the ends of the word. So that's where mm. you, and that makes mm. sense. Mm. And then when you were aided and not looking, you get everything was correct except for one, one of the uh, sentences that, don't, that doesn't make sense. Right. 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 Which makes, fortunately in this world, we all speak hopefully logically. Yes. So for, the, for the, the one I'm talking about is we have been discussing the, the the grapes right, it was, the grapes. and you said grapes, right. which which makes sense because they're both high pitch sounds, the t and the p, and mm. you couldn't see my lips. Yeah. So of yeah. course, once we got to the visual, you could see what I was doing. Yes, I mean, see my mouth and here, you got a hundred percent, which was Thanks. fantastic. So from this, um, I can see that the hearing aids are helping, even in quiet, which I, I suspect that in noise it would they even help a, a bit more. Oh yes, that, that, that's been wonderful. I, I, I think I, I've been saying to friends that it's kind of transformed my life having wow. these hearing yeah. aids because you can really hear things clearly and pick up things in meetings or important uh, discussions. Yes. And, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I feel pleased about this test. So with the um, students, I'd just like to let you know it's, it's how important it is to, to talk to the client about how, how the client is doing with the hearing aids. And for instance, sometimes you'll find, oh, they're not doing very well with them, and maybe you need to fine-tune the hearing aids, or perhaps they're just not the right hearing aids for that client. So that's another way, or it's another reason to, uh, to do this test. Uh, another reason I would do this test is if a client felt that they didn't need hearing aids, or they weren't too sure about getting hearing aids, so they could just you could just do this test and see how they did with with no visual and visual cues and see how well they did um, and and just show it to them, not to tell them you need hearing aids, but to just it's just another way of of showing a client that perhaps that there is an issue and that they could be uh, have some benefit from hearing aids.